Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Life isn't about sex. It's not about fucking and balls and pussy. It's about love. It's about people. It's about connection. It's such about cock and ass and kits mm -hmm. and butthole pleasures. It's not about this rusty trombone and dirty Sanchez, Cincinnati bow tie, Bush. and the pussy juice cocktail, and the, the shit stained balls. I hate both of you ebony and ivory motherfuckers. I tell you! You're listening to Two Strangers, One Podcast. Go to iTunes now and subscribe. For Android users, we are available on the Stitcher app for Google. Now, here's Chris and Kristen. Well, hello and welcome to Two Strangers, One Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Kristen. I, I tell you! I tell you! <laughs> I welcome back. Both you ebony, ivory motherfuckers. What's a Cincinnati bow tie? I have no idea. A <laughs> Cincinnati bow tie. I knew, I knew the other ones. Which is gross. It has some. It has, I'm assuming it has something to do with the neck, and that's really disgusting. If you ask me. Since, I mean, I know I've heard of a Cleveland steamer. Um, do you know what a Cleveland steamer no. is? <laughs> it's when. Here we go. Like I said, hey, look. It said graphic at the graphic, beginning of the yeah. top of the episode. A Cleveland steamer is when someone takes a shit on your chest. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's with the shitting? Like, I don't uh, get it. Dirty Sanchez with the shit mustache. Like, yeah, Dirty Sanchez point? is when you stick your finger in the girl's ass and <laughs> you, you wipe it under their nose. But mustache. it's supposed to, if you're taking a girl from behind, she's supposed to like jerk back so hard, but it's supposed to feel good if you're doing it doggy That's style. Like, like point? it's the whole point of. The poop on the stash. Uh, the poop on the stash because she's supposed to start like bucking. Like you bucking, do something like that like and you're supposed to hold on to her. <laughs> And these are horrible, horrible things. Oh, yeah. I would never do anything. I've like heard it. of um, um, donkey punching, donkey punching, staggering pirate, staggering pirate. No, you don't know. See, I don't know with a lot of guys in college, and it was just wrong. Some of the things they did, <laughs> said, videotaped. Um, <laughs> staggering pirate is you punch when it on the leg or something, or you. Oh my god! Now I got to think of what you got to do first. You, you jerk off. Okay, you jizz in the eye so that you know they got one <laughs> eye. You know. Clothes like a pirate, uh -huh. and then you kick them in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they're kind of like one eyed oh and God. wobbling around. And then I've heard of the, oh, see, this is so gross. The rodeo, where it's like, you the rodeo is, I heard the rodeo is when you're taking a girl from behind <laughs> yeah. and you tell her you fucked her sister. Oh, see, I've heard it where that could be one, or you say, I have AIDS. Oh my God. <laughs> and you hold on. Right. And, see how and long then you can... hold on and it's you get like more a rodeo. than eight seconds. <laughs> So disgusting. And okay, I, heard... I got the Cincinnati bow tie. Oh, okay. When you reverse titty fucker girl, so your balls and cock are upside down and it looks like she is wearing a fleshy bow tie. It's called Cincinnati because oh. they do everything backwards there. <laughs> <laughs> Who comes up with this? So shit? okay, you reverse your so you're reverse straddling that. on top of her. That's a reverse. But your ass is in her face. Yeah. Nice. Oh, God. Know. Yeah, who comes what up about, with this shit? Do you know what a rusty trombone is? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, I hung up. We had a pong table. All these frat guys. Yeah. No, they weren't even frat guys. They were just idiots. <laughs> <laughs> but they would tell me everything, and I'm like, guys, I didn't ask to know. And, <laughs> well, like, if I inquire, maybe that's one thing, but they'd be like, yeah, last information night. Information like that is, you, it begs to be shared. <laughs> yeah. But they would all, like, I lived with three other girls. They would always just, like free talk around me and I'm like guys like if the other girls heard what you tell me they wouldn't want you in their apartment <laughs> and that's just a fact but I mean I guess because I could laugh and just be disgusted at the same and just go with it but it's like I cannot believe you people did this to people <laughs> what a, is the matter with you <laughs> the Roman war helmet do you know what a Roman no. war helmet okay sounds, you know how sounds exotic you know how the Romans have the helmets and there's that piece of metal that goes over their nose. Okay. So, like, so, you lay your balls on her forehead and your dick on their I mean, nose. And what's the point? You just hang I out? don't get it, because what girl... I mean... It's like, come on, let's do the Roman War. Yeah, Roman War. You like, know, you tell the girl what it is, and she's like, yeah. Like, yeah, half of these are sexual assaults. Sure. <laughs> half of like, these should, are illegal. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can get in trouble for. <laughs> Yet they exist. Yeah, it's... Oh, what else I mean, I know... So gross. I've... I mean, there's... Um, there is a fetish where guys will get under a glass table and watch a girl take a shit, Ew. and they That's get like off. Like vomits. I don't like what. Yeah, all that. Those things are disgusting. You know, and I'm 
like I said, anything between two consenting adults is their business. Right. I just don't get it. I don't get I don't get either. vomiting. I don't vomiting, get shitting. golden showers. And I had an ex-girlfriend Wanted you who piss on her? wanted me to piss on her. Or Kelly. And, and, you know, she goes, oh, we'll just go in the tub and you can, you know, relieve yourself on me. And I was just Why like. Why do you want me to piss on you? I didn't. I don't get it. It was like a degrading. She wanted yeah. to be degraded. And, and. What was her childhood? I said, like? I think it I'll starts from it. there. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, but I don't get it, you know. Um. You know, it's just, I don't get golden girls, showers. I don't cup. get it. two girls, one cup, which is everybody. <laughs> Mostly based on our. That's what, like, <laughs> we have two strangers, one podcast. Now, I can go to my grandmother and say, hey, grandma, two, we two have two strangers, strangers one yeah, podcast. Know. Anybody under the age of, like, 30. I remember, go, again, the guys at um mm-hmm. college. I was in college at the time that it came out, that I'm assuming mm-hmm. it came out, because mm-hmm. that's when I first saw it. Um, and they're like, check this out, it's hysterical. And it was sent to me, and I was like, okay, let's... So I, 30 seconds in, I was gagging, turned it off. <laughs> I've never completed that, anything. I was dry <laughs> I was like, that is the most disgusting thing. I don't know if it's fake, real, I don't care. I think it's real. I, I think it I is, think too, real. and that's because, what's disturbing. Um, you know, a lot, girl, of, these, let's have some a lot of these porn chicks are like drug addicts and stuff like that, so they'll do don't anything care, for... Yeah. Um, for some money. Know, and, the money. And at the time, they're like high doing it, so it's like they probably won't even remember it. Yeah. Um, Hopefully. Have you seen, um, there's one called Horse Gag? It's just, <laughs> see, anything with like, ugh. Well, I mean, <laughs> no, this I've was big. Now, I'll be honest with you, this was like in the early, early days of the internet. It was a girl blowing a horse, which is technically bestiality. Right, bestiality. And it's a, a friend of mine. Thing, which is. It's against the law. It's you can't disgusting. show that. And why are we, why? Why are we not <laughs> sleeping with humans? I, yeah, what, once again, I think it's, it's just catch the wrong person, you mm. know, the, the daddy missed enough recitals that... Something happened. You know, um... But why the animals? Why are we doing this to And she's blown, and oh, the horse ejaculates, huge. and it's a lot, and you, and that's why it's called horse gag. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna gag. Oh, it was so horrible. There's oh, one so called Mr. Hands, which I never seen. Mr. I Hands? Heard Mr. Hands is a horse fucking a guy. And Where I believe they wrong? said the guy died from the video, but I don't... Um, they wouldn't show that I've that never anything. seen that. I've oh. never seen it. They said the guy got internal bleeding, bleeding and damage. Well, because a horse's wiener is not it's a huge. human It's huge. It's not, wiener. you know, our Therefore, we should is, not be playing And with it, it wasn't, you know, um, you know, a vagina is, you know, a colon's kind of... Twirl around, twirling, you know? swirling, and uh, but and the, I mean, people have done incredible inches. things with the anus. I mean, have you ever seen those things with the anus? online? There's tons of um, Ugh, X-ray I pictures of people it. that have like freaking Aunt Jemima bottles yeah, and shit like, like that. What like, happened? How, yeah, did you, how did how, it get that big? How fucked up are you in your life that that's the only way you get released? I did. I saw this other one. Oh, and it's kind of famous also. Jeez, Chris, you're on the internet a lot. Well, no. <laughs> I'm a sick fuck. I really am. And, and my friends who are equally sick fucks send me this no, shit. guys know everything. Where a guy squats on a pickle jar. Ugh. And then what happens is you hear the jar break Open, inside oh. him. And he starts bleeding. And he, like... Was that, like, part of it or it just broke? And No, it wasn't supposed to happen. Right. And you just see the guy, like, calmly... Slowly pick the big. This has probably happened before. <laughs> yeah, and it's. Oh, I mean, oh my god, I can't believe we're talking. How do about you know? Stuff. Like, where we're is totally... it like? Oh, watch me! I think I can pick this up. Like, why did that get in your head? I that for one day, the guys you know? who stretch their asses out. And then, you know, what? I can pick up this little <laughs> chart. I mean, the most famous. Have you ever seen the goatsy? Goatsy, no. goatsy, and it has nothing to do with goats. It's just a website, and oh, it's okay. like it's like G O A. T S E and it's not dot com, it's dot something. S-E-X. But I guess if you can just E-U. Google Gootsy if you're if you're over eighteen if and you're really and into this. Really into seeing something sick and it's a guy holding his asshole open. But I mean it's open. open. It is real you like could you could see, see that- you could see his insides. And that's like a real famous internet, internet? picture that like whenever How anybody did we get it this big. How did this happen? Years and years of stretching that asshole out. And it's like that's oh. not even... I mean, shits must s- literally just fall out of fall you. Out. You can't yeah, even hold it. Like, what kind of... Um, Goatsy is... Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm just, him. Goatsy sorry, my phone. Um, don't worry about that. I'm just going to turn off my phone right now. I'm sorry about that. Um, so popular. <laughs> yeah, it's Goatsy's, someone I don't want to talk to. Goatsy's calling. Um, 
Stop talking about my asshole, you dicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's Goatsy calling. Goatsy. Um, and then there's another one, and I think we're going to be done with this in a second. <laughs> there's another one called Tub Girl, and it's a Japanese girl in a tub. Now, let me see if I can put this correctly. Her, okay, she's on her back. Okay. And she's, she's in the tub. In the curvature of the tub. Okay. Okay, so imagine her shoulders are at the bottom most part of the tub, okay. while her back follows the curve, and her ass would be like where the faucet is. Okay. And she's not, but she has diarrhea shooting out of her ass, arcing back to hit her on the face. <laughs> like her legs are pulled back, and so the shit is going up in the air into her face. And <laughs> and it's, a, it's definitely a Japanese girl, and it's called how, Tub Girl. And how did we think of this? Like, you know what I could do, guys? <laughs> so, and it's an action out. shot. Someone was like, "This is great! I got yeah, it! You got it! I got it! Guys. Guys. And it's like if you miss the first time, it's like, okay, we gotta do it again later. We gotta get it. <laughs> like, where are we? Like, oh, you know what I could do? I could, I I could do this. Squirt my own I, diarrhea. In oh my, my god! So we've probably gross. Girls, if there's any girl still listening this. to the episode, yeah. thank you. I love you. I can't believe you've lasted this long. Now, um, there's this story. Let me do one story. Okay. okay. <laughs> when I was in college, a lot happened, I guess. There was like this, it must have been like a mass email. Like, it was just like this, read this story. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember where it happened or what happened. Mm-hmm. But I guess this is what some women do for masturbating instead of, you know, getting a toy or anything like that. They... Mm-hmm. Go, like, a woman went, she bought a lobster. Okay. Tell me if you've ever heard of this, because I've never heard of this. This is already okay. not ringing any bells <laughs> with she me. she goes in the tub. It's a live lobster. It goes in the tub. Uh-huh. And then what you do is you put, like, a lighter under the lobster. Uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah, she must have been. I don't remember. She was in the tub. I remember that. And, like, you put a lighter on. This technical difficulty is brought to you by... Motor City on Disney XD <laughs> and Black Dynamite on the Cartoon Network. Please watch. The computer watch. didn't like my. Uh, the computer didn't want to hear your lobster, my lobster stories. My lobster so I'm going to sponsor every technical <laughs> difficulty. And We're going to be sued. In the friends next of the show, George Christick and Chris Pranowski, uh watch Motor City Thursday nights on Disney XD and watch Black Dynamite Sundays on Cartoon Network. Holla! Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sponsor every technical yeah, difficulty. Nice. And those are friends of the show, so I'm yeah. going to just so okay. uh, give them a shout-out. We shout won't out. get sued yet. Yeah, we won't get <laughs> sued yet. Um, so, uh, so go back lo- to the lobster, so lobster tip. tip. So, so we had everyone, like, hanging on the edge. Like, I know, okay, what like happens the to the lobster? I don't know. So this was the story that I got, like, in an email. Like, read this story from wherever. Uh-huh. So this woman, I guess it's a common thing. I didn't know this. Or maybe she started it, a new trend. Uh-huh. You get this lobster, and I believe she was, like, in her tub, and there she had, like, a porno video, like, on her TV, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she's pleasuring herself. So what she does is you burn, you take a lighter and you burn like the bottom of the lobster, which is alive. Uh-huh. So it's, And it starts flicking its yeah, tail? so its tail starts flicking, which you insert into your vaginal cavity. Wow. And so then you get off on that. So what happened was I guess it was a pregnant lobster and she didn't know. And I guess uh-huh. it... Laid uh, eggs in laid, her? Yeah, laid eggs in her. So I guess, I don't know if it was like the same day or like a day later, uh-huh. she ended up getting really bad pains in her, I don't know, I guess just... Vaginal like, area? Yeah, vaginal area. Like, I think she just thought she had diarrhea or something. I don't know. Uh-huh. She ended up going to the bathroom. All of this babies came out, and she saw... Baby lobsters Yeah, baby, out. like... You saw crabs are bad. Right, yeah. We got lobsters. <laughs> so they spewed out into the toilet. She ends up looking in the toilet, like, what the... You know, freaked out, as any uh-huh. human would be. Fell, cracked her head, I think, on the toilet or the uh-huh. tub, either one, and died. Oh, my God. And, That's like- <laughs> yeah. And, like, police had to, like, put it all together. Like, she had a lot of, there was a porno tape, and she had, like, that is- how awful you died from basically masturbating and... Oh. Now, bitch, you got lobsters inside you. I don't know. That's that's like a one of those crazy urban legends. All right. Like, did that really? Did that, did that every, really happen? That would be so fucked. Right. Up. But some, you know, there are some fucked up stories that are like based in reality. But mm-hmm. everybody's like, oh no, my cousin. All right. The one I always hear is the dog with the peanut butter. Oh yeah. That's where like old. a woman puts peanut butter yeah. on the crotch, calls the dog, and then like the variation <laughs> is that she, not only she does it, but she does it, and she doesn't know that there's like a. Surprise birthday party at her yeah, house. And and she turns on the light there. and everyone's like, surprise! And Everybody she's there knows naked my cousin. With them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like, you're my cousin's friend. <laughs> it's real, man. It's so real. then, I mean, like, after, you know, going shopping to the grocery store, it got kind of awkward when you went by, like, the fish and the lobster. Like, <laughs> should we get a lobster tonight, girls? What, what should we have? <laughs> and I was in 
I went to Red Lobster the other yeah. day. As a matter of fact. <laughs> See, you're never going to look at it the same. And it's so horrible. We got the, so the lobsters. And, and trust me, I didn't want to go. It was my uncle's birthday. And, I didn't um, want it. Yeah, I didn't want to go, but it was my uncle's birthday. Because so, you heard that lobster um, story? My mom, my mom, like, well, I didn't know my uncle wanted to go, but like my mom was like, oh, right, we're going to go to the Red Lobster. So biscuits like, oh. are the best. They have the best biscuits. Yeah, I was, I was, once again, I was back up in Middletown. <laughs> Long story. Take a shot. I was helping helping out. My uncle would take care of some legal business. And I don't know. I don't like Red Lobster. I don't like seafood. I'm not a a seafood person. I usually get, like, pasta there. Like, the pasta with, like, a shrimp. And I'm like, okay, let's put Yeah, I just ordered, like, the appetizer. Yeah, something random. Mozzarella sticks and chicken and stuff. No, I know a story. See, now I'm going on a hole. Uh In high school, this happened to somebody else in another high school where they were having anal, uh-huh. and I guess she ended up shitting, uh-huh. okay? And it went, they were on the couch at, like, his parents' house. Uh-huh. Ruined the couch. They ended up having to buy a whole new couch. Oh, my God. This <laughs> I... off. And the thing is, is, you know, like, that gets spread around the school, so it's like, everybody knows you. Like, everybody's like, I mean, oh, this, this is the one. Raw. I've withdrawn from a girl and had shit on my dick. And that is... Well, that's your own fault for going in that hole. <laughs> that's what I say. And... That is an exit only hole. She was hole. incredibly people... embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. That is... I wouldn't be. I'd be like, you wanted to go in there? I'm just like, there what the go. fuck? What is that? It didn't... <laughs> what the hell is that? I was just like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> and she fucking... She had a fucking... She did, She was so embarrassed, she went running to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Oh, I <laughs> shit on you after that. Like, you wanted to go in there. Yeah. This is and, what you're and, getting. And, Apparently, I'm not the only person that's happened to because that was. I'm sure my, I told my friends and my, yeah, look my at the hole you're too. going in. You don't think anything's gonna come out of there? Yeah, because you know, really, I mean, guys? you can really? clean the, the immediate area, but you can't, you can't get clean in what's, there you unless you need like a, a toilet brush. Toilet bowl, yeah, toilet brush <laughs> to go up there and just pipe cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. And um, see, I blame the guys on that. If you want to go up there, you enter with <laughs> enter at your own yeah, risk. Yeah, enter at your own risk. That should be a nice uh, tramp stamp on it. <laughs> enter at your own risk. Now, Jesus, I'm just gonna get real raw here. I um, get raw. Sorry, folks. I'm not circumcised. Uh oh. And <laughs> Pro- prove it. <laughs> prove it. Prove it. Prove it. I hope this doesn't come up like in a trial later on. He raped me. He's not circumcised. What was he circumcised? Well, I've always been a big proponent. I mean, I've made several tweets about it. Like, you you know, I mean, well, because I'm against it in general. Like, I don't have a son. I mean, I have my stepson, but he wasn't, he wasn't, I didn't, I didn't know, I wasn't around, I wasn't in his life when he was born. Um, But if I did have a son, I wouldn't have him circumcised. Only because I think it's fucking butchery. I think it's an old school, archaic, you know, we have... (laughs) We have the technology. We know how to clean ourselves. We know how to clean our bodies. But the problem is, is you guys don't. <laughs> we do, God. If you, that's the problem. It's the, well, the problem wrong is, guys, guys don't do know how to take care of themselves and care build of up that smegma. Uh, <laughs> See, I'm gonna barf on this episode. Smegma breath. Smegma Ugh, breath. Um, this episode has gone downhill from the beginning. <laughs> how did we even get started on this? Oh, from um, the beginning, you made with shit and balls, balls. And, <laughs> and the pussy juice cocktail. See. Um, I oh. wanted it to go this direction. And all parties will stay safe in the story. My friend told me it was all parties. he was having oral. Well, his girlfriend was blowing him. He came. She swallowed. Mm-hmm. And about a minute later, she's like, <laughs> so the the term sperm burper came. That is <laughs> what she was full. Like what? It was. Just, I guess you know. Sometimes when you swallow juice or water, oh, or like it just like gets soda? in your bubble. I would think soda that would happen. Is sperm now carbonated? Why? Well, I don't. Well, it's, not, it's not carbonated, but it was just. It's, or maybe it was just like an incredible was, coincidence. Yeah. But about a minute after uh, she swallowed, uh, and, angry sperm monster. And, and you know, sometimes when you burp, you taste what you just. Oh, <laughs> uh, repeat that. Yeah. Um, but I'm um, hang out with you or your yeah. Friend. So, um, I had made a. Facebook update about that. I was like, look, <laughs> if a girl freaks out because apparently a group about it. apparently women are women are so used to men that are circumcised that when they see a guy that's not circumcised, True. it freaks him out. What and, the hell is that? No. And, you know, Man, and I had made a joke. I said, turn it back against her and call her a slut. Like, how many cocks have you seen, bitch? <laughs> you fucking whore. Now, but it's. You know, <laughs> yeah, now he's got to find a but yeah, you know, I didn't, gotta, mean, it. No, I didn't but mean it like that. You know, <laughs> it's it's totally natural. You have sex like every other guy. It's you know because now I can understand. 
well, actually, no. I don't understand because it's religion, but, you know, if it's not necessary, it's, you're cutting something off your child. You know. You can keep it. If, um, <laughs> now let's just say, I'm a grown ass man. If I decided, okay, it's a health problem, I'm gonna go take care of it, I'm old enough to go and take care of it. You know what I'm saying? And it's my do decision. an episode of you going to the doctor and I, no, but that's the whole thing. I've taken. never had a problem. I clean myself, I take care of myself. I mean, yes, I'm a slob and everything like that, <laughs> but, but he takes care of you know, that. you clean yourself. And, and it's not, you know, this isn't 2000 years ago where, you know, an infection would right. kill you because you didn't know about soap and germs and like stuff 40. like that. And yeah, it's it's you know, I'm so against people mutilating their child. It's your man. Yeah, it's your that's your manna. That, that no nothing should anything that cuts should not be anywhere. Slices and dices. <laughs> you know, and of course, look, I know, I know, I danced around in my underwear. I'm a grower, not a shower. Um, <laughs> Check but him out on YouTube. Check Two me out on YouTube. Look up <laughs> Fat Dancing. Two Strangers, Strangers One Podcast. Podcast. We want more likes and, and views I'm on dancing that. in my spider Comment on everywhere. it. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. And hey, ladies, I'm single. Here we go. And, um, That's going to get them. <laughs> They're commenting. I'm on not... You. Look, you know, I, I know I'm big, and I know it's it's kind of a joke to see a big, fat guy dancing. But, you know, I'm not Chris, ashamed of my body, and I'm not ashamed to say I'm not circumcised. You know, and it just... It bothers me, because... Women freak out when a guy's circumcised. If a guy freaked out over a girl's vagina, like if there was something wrong with your vagina. Now, during the course of my life, I've seen my fair share of vaginas. Of course, you know. What's the worst thing you've seen? I've, I've. Because I wonder what could really, like besides like an STD, what could really be wrong? No, well. A big ass Like bush? loose lips. Uh, oh, yeah. But see. <laughs> loose lips. Yeah, like uh, meat curtains. Uh, <laughs> looks like a. Uh, now, I. It this, looks like um, a roast I, beef sandwich <laughs> that <laughs> fell on the floor of a barbershop. Oh. Stepped on multiple times. Um, now, I've, there, there was a story, I think, for like a year ago. Like, this girl, she was mm-hmm. in high school. And basically, her boyfriend told her, like, something's wrong with your vagina. She uh-huh. was born with two vaginas. Like, she had two holes. Oh, and he shit. was like, something's not right here. And she had yeah. no idea. Like, yeah, I mean... Like, that is so great. <laughs> She'd be perfect for the porn industry. Imagine how many holes could be used. That would be... Two vaginas, four I men. There there were... I mean, I've heard stories of, like, people like, born right. with two vaginas. But she had no and, idea. Which makes like me a, concerned, like, she never went to the gyno. And technically, it's like a birth defect, but, yeah. you know, it's like... Yeah, it could go for years without getting... And really, I mean... I mean, the doctor should have caught it there. Right. The pediatrician like, where, and, and, and... Where did we go wrong? <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, you shouldn't get to your school. teenage like, years. Why did you not know that yeah, you had two maybe holes? Maybe some backwards fucking mm. place in the world. It was probably next to that, uh... Her mom was probably that lobster. <laughs> the lobster queen. And, you know, mom probably did all kind of drugs when she was pregnant or something. No, she was but, born with two vaginas. You know... She could be like the new octo mom. Like. You know... I mean, maybe... You know, I've never seen a ugly vagina. You know, I mean, I've seen them. I mean, I've seen pornos, and I've seen yeah. women with fucking blown out <laughs> vaginas. Like well, one like, time we were looking up because um, some some put one of my group of friends, somebody didn't know like what a landing strip was, and we're like, how do you not know? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I thought there was like a common thing, uh-huh. so we ended up like googling it. Like, this is what it is. But the vaginas on these Google searches, like, one looked like, it was so sad, he honestly looked like a penis. Like, she had a baby penis. Yeah, they have... like, is that a guy? Like, girl, take care of yourself. Well, like, one thing that's kind of creepy, like, um, the wrestler China, Yeah, you. she has a huge clitoris, and it looks like a a small dick, and... Probably from all the shit she's done. Yeah, I mean, well, I think some... Some women just naturally have more testosterone, so right, that would gonna... make the clitoris look like a small penis. <laughs> so um, you just grow a penis. Yeah. Well, it's not a penis. I mean, <laughs> I but the way, you know, it looks. when it when it develops into a woman, it becomes a clit. When it's on a guy, it becomes a penis, and that's where all the nerve this endings are. Doctor. And um, Here's the doctor. Well, Dr. no. Chris. I mean, you know, I appreciate every woman that's ever let me <laughs> get near their vagina. Thanks, girl. I've never seen... I've never seen an ugly vagina. I'm, you want to call me twisted? Wood? I'm a fan of like the shaved vagina. I mean, I believe it's much cleaner. Yeah, it's <laughs> you know. Um, now growing up and stealing my dad's porno magazines and watching my dad's From, like, porno the movies, 70s? like it, it was seventies like, Earth Mama Bush. Yeah. You know where the girls you gotta like you did not just to find the you didn't see the vagina. Right, you it just was saw just a, bush. a big 
rectangle. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, rectangles. That would be really weird. Uh, a big triangle of fucking hair. Pick sticking out of it. And I remember, and I mentioned this in an earlier episode. Then my father used to guy, have. Like, what is that? <laughs> my father used to have um, artful nudes. You know, yeah, f- photography books, but mm-hmm. they were nudes. And there was a girl, I swear to God, that had her vagina where she had little apples and stuff where it was supposed to look like it was a tree. Like the middle of her legs was artsy. supposed to be the, the, the trunk of the tree. Girl got and artsy. Her, and, you know, like an upside down tree where it was, you know, like a martini <laughs> glass or whatever. And there was little apples and little toy birds and, you know, and it was a close up of just the vagina. And, you know, growing up looking at my dad's porno, every woman had bush, Air bush, bush, hair. bush. And then when I got older, and luckily, you know, you know, the thong song and stuff like that, you know, <laughs> I think the th- as thongs, the thongs came into fashion, that's when <laughs> women started Open taking Chris's care. Because, yeah. you know, women were doing the, the landing strips and everything like that. But I think once you got to thongs, you, you like, not that you had to shave, but, it'd be nice you if know, you and, and, you know, some people, oh, you're a fucking creep and you're a fucking pedophile and they give you all right. that shit. I I like it shaved, or I mean, I don't mind a little hair. It's fine, but you know that Earth Mama bush, that 1970s <laughs> shit. No, I don't. I'm not go. I'm not going down on Jimi Hendrix. You know what I'm saying? Like now they got the jazzle or the jazzling. Yeah, where it's like the where uh, they put the jewels the, around the vagina, <laughs> the little um, rhinestones. I wonder uh, what they stick it with, like the, the glue. I think it's just a straight up glue. Never, you know, you can done, you know, get some Elmer's glue and some <laughs> some jewels you of Michael's. You can do yourself. There's hot glue gun. <laughs> this episode on Craft Wars, <laughs> yeah. we bejewel the bejewel <laughs> <laughs> With normal everyday household items. <laughs> with googly eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, like when the kids, when they... When they Glue the macaroni to the yeah, right? <laughs> to the, to the construction Just have paper. random shit on your vagina. It's an owl. <laughs> and this is the beak. <laughs> <laughs> Six out of a bitches. Oh, boy. Brought to you by Michaels. Brought to you by Michaels. Be dazzling your vajayjay since 1999. <laughs> oh, you can get a lot of the jazzle stuff there. Yeah. That's it. You can get We're a lot a business. of... starting a business. on... Two Strangers, Vagina. One Podcast, Vajazzle.com. Now, I had prepared something for the episode. I don't Is there anything you wanted to get to immediately, or? No. Okay. And <laughs> I have random I'll, This is a and... total pop quiz. Oh. I'm giving you a pop quiz. I'm scared. Okay. Is it from Cosmo? No, no it's not from Cosmo. <laughs> I don't know why. I was, um... Looking up pop quizzes? Uh, yeah, look it up. <laughs> well, I just, like, uh, last night, you know, I was in New York City again, take a shot or whatever. Um... <laughs> Driving into Rochester last night, Rochester last night, and I was listening to the relatively famous uh, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. He has a podcast called um, Star Talk. Pluto is no more, and he's one of the guys that was on the panel that got rid of Pluto, and, and he kind of Pluto. explains it if you listen to the podcast. And it just, I mean, you know, and the funny thing, well, the funny thing is, take a shot, shot is you know, obviously. This guy who's an astrophysicist is obviously a huge nerd. Right. You know. You denounce um, Pluto. Obviously you have some <laughs> knowledge of And he's a Earth, curator wind at and fire. the Museum of Natural History in New York. He runs the Hayden Planetarium, which is right next door. And I, when I was a kid, I went to the Hayden Planetarium that was a place you know, to two be. three times a summer. And me being a nerd as a kid, <laughs> I love the planetarium and, and looking up the stars and... Nerd. Um, yeah, big nerd. I'm we a used huge, to go as huge, kids too huge nerd. Plant Terry's cool. So, you know, that being said, I mean, he's one of the smartest guys on the planet, but he's a nerd, and he's a Star Trek nerd. Yeah. Like, he loves Star Chris Trek. Is idol, and, you know, yeah. And Would you make out with him if you I liked him. I liked him before. <laughs> now that I listen to his podcast, now I like really like him. Like, I would. Respect for him. And. On his show, he has this comedian, um, Eugene Merman. Uh-oh, don't get Chris started. <laughs> and for, and just for like our audience, have you ever seen the show Delocated? He's the Russian mobster guy. Delocated is a show on the Cartoon Network on Adult Swim where it's supposed to be a whole family that gets into the witness protection program. But then they're on a reality show. It's a goof on reality oh, shows, okay. <laughs> but their identities need to be hidden. So they all wear ski masks, and all their voices are distorted. Hello, how you doing? And so he plays a Russian mobster who he gets his own reality show, and now their shows conflict because his job is to kill them because 
the, the, a re- imagine a reality show following a hitman. Right. That would be fucking hilarious. I would watch it. Now, I liked him on that show. He's also a voice, Eugene Merman is also a voice on the show Bob's Burgers, which I cannot Uh-oh. stand. I think Don't it is so fucking stupid. The only reason they're, the whoever yeah. makes that show must have like naked pictures of Rupert Murdoch or something like that. <laughs> guy who owns Fox because he's in between, the, Ross Burgers is in between the Simpsons and Family Guy. You know, Simpsons and Family Guy have been around for a reason because they're funny shows. You may not like one or the other, you know, Simpsons, a lot of people go, oh, Simpsons is past its prime. And there's people like, oh, Family Guy is the same joke over and over again. Right. Whatever that, whatever you feel, I like both those shows, and both of those shows have longevity. They've yeah. been around for a for reason. For a long time. Then you got the shit sandwich in the middle. <laughs> it's like a, sh- it's like a shit sandwich with it's a good shit bread. a burger. A shit burger. Bob's burger. With great bread. Because mm. the Simpsons is good, the Family Guy is good. Bob's Burgers is a fucking abomination. It's a, not a funny show. You're telling me and, you're a fan of Bob's Burgers. And, yeah, so <laughs> this guy, Eugene Merman. So last night, under the influence of Ambien, because um, <laughs> I drove... went on a tweeting rampage. I um, was driving in from New York City. I drank, I drank a whole lot of fucking caffeine. So when I get home, I'm so amped, right. I have to take Ambien to kind of chill out. <laughs> and, um, and... So I was tweeting while under the influence of Ambien, but I honestly, when I was listening to the podcast, um, Eugene Merman, like every time he spoke, I wanted to say, "Just shut the fuck up. You're not funny," yeah. you so, know. But he Bruce wrote. Took it upon I sent them. I sent them a really email. fucking rude tweet, and actually, and he apologized just, for being he's annoying. He's not gonna listen and then dun, dun, so or read it and then dun dun dun. Yeah. So um, Eugene Merman, I apologize. I was a little rude. One podcast pissing off one comedian. At a time. <laughs> And, oh, don't even get me started on Matt Mira and Jonah Ray from The Nerdist. Because I was listening to that. I caught an episode of that also last night. Now, don't get me Matt Mira, and I'm just going to get on this oh, real quick. Hate- oh, sorry. Matt Mira, the co-host of uh, The Nerdist, he's also on G4's Attack of the Show. He hosts The Gadget Prawn, which he only got because that was Chris Hardwick's old job. Right. Chris Hardwick is the original host of The Nerdist. The original Nerdist. He, you know, Matt Mira inherited, inherited the job. Matt Mira used to be one of the genius bar guys. He used to work at the Apple store uh, in okay. Los Angeles. And and I don't want to offend any of the genius bar people here in beautiful Rochester. <laughs> but, you know, genius bar, genius bar guys are known for being douchebags, know-it-alls, you know, like they feel they fucking know everything. They're up here. And that here. explains so much about Matt Mira, that, you know, he's a smarmy, douchey, Muppet-looking fat bastard. Did and I'm you? fat also, so I am not. I should take back that last part. You think he's uncircumcised? <laughs> no, Mira, <laughs> I think he said he was Jewish, so probably not. Did and then you? the other guy, Did Jonah. Oh, Ray. I sent I sent Matt Mira a tweet. I said, "You fucking Muppet We're looking to get racist." Fans of the show, and you're just you Muppet. Well, racist. you got to start a flame war. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you maybe that'll maybe this will help us. We'll start we'll start flaming Let's each other back. We can piss off. And the other guy, Jonah Ray, who hides his ethnicity. I at least I admit I'm Puerto Rican. His real name is Jonah Ray Rodriguez. Ah, one of those. He is Hispanic, even like though he looks like a white of, boy. Uh, I know I'm the last one to talk. What's his name? Creator of Two and a Half Men. He changed his name. Yeah, um, Chuck yeah, Lorre, whose real name was Heim. Right. Heim, which is, a, but like it is common him. for uh, people who call themselves Heim to call themselves Charles or Char- And then he doesn't Charles. call himself Charles. He calls himself Chuck, Chuck. even more of an Americanized. <laughs> yeah. But I am definitely not going to shit on Chuck Lorre because he produces <laughs> The Big Bang Theory. Chris's boyfriend. And I've written two Big Bang Theory scripts, which I would love for him to look at. Bill Prady, the other creator of the show, actually sent a tweet out saying, I don't take submissions for Big Bang Theory scripts, which I wish I, I wish they could. Which, back when Star Trek The Next Generation was out, back I could bring it back. When Star Trek The Next <laughs> Generation was out, from there. Um, fans used to send in scripts. Oh, sure. Because Star Trek Next Generation, there's like a billion fucking episodes. They actually made the best of the best fan scripts that they got, they oh. actually made into episodes. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe the writers were so overburdened with trying to come up with shit yeah, that like, like, right, when the fans said something, something. said, okay, we'll do this. <laughs> we, we got a week off. You know, and <laughs> the smartest men in the world, um, what's his face? You know, Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, was uh, Stephen Hawking, and Stephen Hawking was on Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, cool. They made it look, they made it that he was a hologram, and yeah. this guy, you know, he was a computer program, but, 
you know, Stephen Hawking, the smartest men in the world, astronauts, watch Star Trek Next Generation. And one of the fans of Neil, of the Star Trek in general was Neil deGrasse Tyson. See, I could bring it all back. <laughs> so he's such a nerd that, um, it got me, it got me to, I'm, I put together, this is a pop quiz. This is oh, a nerd. A quiz. I forgot all about this it. This is a nerd on pop a nerd quiz. Rampage. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So you expect me to what? Get no, no. I don't expect, I don't expect, there's about three I'm questions. I'm gonna get a Cosmo quiz. There's the three or four time. questions on this that if you don't get, I'm gonna be upset. Ugh. And there's some that don't you're definitely worry. not gonna get, but, um. Watch, I'll I'd like to see your reaction. I'm typing a Cosmo quiz. <laughs> I'm gonna get one up. Okay. okay. Question number one, and this one is an easy lob. I don't, I don't play softball, but this, what do you, you know, when you just lob one real easy down the middle, who played Captain America in Captain America and the Avengers? Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. You know, he you was one. actually my, um, my roommate in college. She was from Boston. That was her neighbor. Oh, growing okay. Growing up, she's. She has older brothers and they hate him. He said it was a big douche. Big douche? <laughs> oh shit. Like he used to, like he was like a nerd and would like come to like the house parties and like steal uh-huh. beer and leave. Like, and they're like, okay. <laughs> so ever since then they've hated wow, him. Wow, Captain America's is, and Captain in the America's comic books, douche. Captain America's supposed to be like the biggest boy scout in the world. Yeah. He's douche. supposed to be the nicest, nice Sorry, guy. Chris Evans. Wow, Captain Sorry. America's an asshole. That Sorry kind to of... blast you. Okay, so that one's okay, the so easy line. How many are there? <laughs> That's ten questions. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. This one is more of a pop culture one, so you should get it. Okay. I don't expect you. Oh, I'm nervous. What is Soylent Green? Soylent Green? Soylent Green. It's oh, a idea. very, very popular pop culture reference. And no, you can't bring... Don't no, touch I'm your iPad. Up, no, I'm looking at Cosmo. I'm not looking okay. up answers. I know. I was thinking about that. It's ready to type it in. Okay. Um, well, this one, I'll okay, be honest no with you. I've never even seen this movie. Soylent but Green. It's been parodied so many times What's in Soylent TV Green? shows. That that's only Soylent Green is people. It's a stupid. <laughs> Soylent Green is people. I've, I've never, never seen the movie. It's a science fiction movie oh, where in the future. <laughs> no, these are nerd questions. I'm not I, having it. I've never seen this movie, but I've seen it parodied on The Simpsons. I've seen it parodied oh. on other shows. I've Soylent seen it parodied on Bob's Burger. People are eating, <laughs> and there's an episode of Bob Burgers where they goof on Soylent Green. I've never heard, okay, so with Soylent Green... And trust people. me, the only reason I'm watching Bob's Burgers is it's between the Simpsons and Family Guy. <laughs> For hatred purposes. Um, so so think, it's in the future, and That's what people all these people are eating this meat, and the product is called Soylent Green, and then a guy like goes behind oh, the scenes, and the big oh. famous scene is a guy runs out and goes, Soylent Green is people! So I thought you would know that on a pop culture reference. No, I've never a, heard of that before. Okay. Now I know. So, all right, we're yes. one for two. Okay. <laughs> for now two. this one is almost a two-parter. But where I'm going to give you a hard question and then I'm going to make it easy for you. Okay. <sighs> what is the prime directive? I don't. Know. You don't know. And prime okay. Directive. I, I tell know. you what. First I'll give you. A, I'll give you the point if you could even name the franchise, the science fiction franchise that the prime directive comes from. Chris. <laughs> Take a take a wild swing. So, what is it? A movie Any, or a show? It's a sci. It's a sci-fi. A sci-fi franchise. Star Trek. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm good. That's two points. Okay. That's two points out of prime three. directive. The prime direct. Now you got it right. It's I, a mission. The prime directive is in Star Trek. They don't. They visit all these planets, okay. but the prime directive tells them. Don't get involved on the planet. Let them live their lives. Like, you can help them, but don't, but don't change, change their way of life. Planet. You know, don't, hey, your Bible is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. See ya. We're going to leave now. Which, if you watch the original series, Captain Kirk constantly violated the Ooh, Prime the Directive. Fuck, Kirk? So, <laughs> I knew um, that. I knew Captain Kirk. And see, girls, that. if you're listening and you have, if you know the, a nerd in your life, you can impress them saying, hey, you know the Prime Director was from Star Trek. <laughs> but I'll give you a point because I said, I even Star if you can Trek. name the franchise. <laughs> okay. okay. So, that's two for three. I'm going to put my points down. Two points. <laughs> two, <laughs> two points. points. <laughs> who do the Sith fight? S-I-T-H. Who do the Sith fight? This is like Star Trek again, isn't it? Or Star Wars. Star Wars? Mm-hmm. I don't know, the odd Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, you're, you're, I don't know if I should give you, that's, that's like a half a point. <laughs> what? The, the Sith fight the Jedi. Yeah. The Jedi's Jedi and the Anakin. Sith. <laughs> See, you said Anakin. So I think you should, that, that uh, thing that counts as half a point. Oh, yeah, you got a little baby point, point there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's a hard one. I don't know. 
Okay. Purpose. <laughs> Asthma quiz is here for you. And okay, I'm excited. who said so long and thanks for all the fish? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the loaves and the fishes. I don't know. <laughs> so long and thanks for all the so fish. So long and thanks for all the fish. For anybody who's a fan of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It was the dolphins because Earth, <laughs> all the dolphins. I don't know any of this. Dolphins shit. are sm- in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books. Dolphins are smarter than human beings, oh. so they knew that Earth was about to get blown up. So they leave Earth. So they say so <laughs> long and thanks for all the fish. Okay. I'm gonna so, just leave Earth. I I mean that was. I could Next. maybe you caught Next. Hitchhiker's Guide the movie. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Next. Okay. In the movies Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Part 2, The Rise of the Silver Surfer, who played Johnny Storm, a.k.a. the Human Torch? I don't watch any of that. Um, this one I thought would be easy. I don't, I don't in mean, this, once again, I don't know, Scarlett Johansson Fantas- was in it. No? No, it was uh, Jessica Alba. See, I don't watch him. Okay. She was in it. Was she the Torch? Jessica Al- <laughs> no, Jessica Alba was Sue Storm, Scarlett which was the Invisible was Woman. was the other one in... What was the newest one? Just, uh, she was Black Widow in the Avengers, oh, yeah, Scarlett Johansson. Okay. Um, um, Jessica Alba. Now, Jessica Alba in this movie is the sister of the um, actor that I'm looking for. Well, actor, in, uh, maybe sister, what a, their characters. The Torch. Okay. The Human Torch. I remember vaguely, like his hands kind of go on fire. Like he's snapping like his finger yeah. and he sees fire. Uh-huh. No idea of the face. Okay. <laughs> and the vaguely... answer is Chris Evans. Oh, so he Loser. played both Captain America <laughs> and See, he can't be doing Johnny, two different things. Johnny Storm, which I'll is the Human confused. Torch. <laughs> and in the movie, he's the brother of Jessica Alba. And that's about it. Okay. <laughs> I thought you would get that because I thought you were like a Chris <laughs> Evans fan. Okay. I mean, this he one look, He looks good. I mean, This but... one, you're not going to get. I If <laughs> so you get this, the... I will okay, fucking I'm buy I'm you a car. Get, <laughs> no, get your hands focus. away from that <laughs> iPad. Focus, focus. Okay, this is a real nerdy one. What does 2D6 stand for? Oh, fuck you. I don't know. <laughs> or 1D10 or 1D20. Okay. Two, Two D6. decimeters. Six. D6. Two decades and six years ago. Okay. <laughs> okay. No idea. 2D6 stands for, for guys who play role-playing games, they roll dice. Okay. A D6 is a six-sided dice. A average uh-huh. dice is a D6. D6. So if you need to roll two of them, it's two, they would six, say seven. roll two D6. Now, I'm pointing right now. I have a giant... That's, like a, that's a D20. I'm, I'm, ooh, um, you see that blue thing? Yeah. That's In my room, I have, for the nerds out there, a it's a D20. It's a 20-sided dice. And that's a 1D20. One dice, 20 sides. Where does this come from? Just so, dice in general? From playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. <laughs> Real nerdy, nerdy <laughs> I was shit. Like, this go? I wasn't okay. expecting you get that one. So I knew if, that you, was, if you had two dice, it would be two, two dice. 2D6, which is six. a very popular combination. 2D6 is like one of the things you're going to do most. But you see the nerds... I used to carry around a pouch with D6s, D10s, <laughs> D20s. You were the man. Oh, I had... Oh, I had... And... Whoever had the coolest dice, you were the man. Like you could go, to, you go to these um, role playing stores, and they have ones that like made with like swirly plastic, ah, and like you know I look like, like gold ones made one. out of ivory. See? You That's know, what I need. it's a. I'm just gonna get the best one, not know how to play. And just be like, <laughs> just yeah, go, just look at my two d sixes. Look at that, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then I you have ones same. like instead of a one, it'll be like a skull and crossbones, okay. and shit like that, a real snake eyes or whatever. So two d six stands for two six sided dice. See, and be, we're learning something here. Okay, this one is a pop culture one. I'm hoping you get this. And very, very famous nerd, Steve Wozniak. What company did he help start? Um, Steve Wozniak? Was yes. Steve He's in the Steve? news. Well, not recently, but he was Apple. in the news. Yeah. Apple. App, ding, 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 ding. Is it Steve and Steve, right? It's Steve, Steve Jobs and, and Steve Wozniak. Yeah. So Steve Wozniak. Bitches, ding, ding, ding. You can count that down as a point. You know, After and that points one was... Um, I'll make you I was it. hoping you, if you didn't get that one and you have an iPad, I was I like, if you get I, that wrong. Do you want to do it? Okay, how many more? Okay, I got two more okay. and then. Um, I got some quizzes. Okay. You want to do a Jersey Shore quote quiz? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> I have no. All I know is Snooky and Jay Wow. That's all I know. Perfect. And the situation. Uh, let's see if we can find another one. Okay. On. What character travels around in a phone booth that can travel through both space Superman. and time? Is it Superman? Right? Uh, Clark. No. The phone booth is actually. Didn't the spaceship. In there? Oh. No, it's, Bill and Ted. <laughs> and 
Actually, <laughs> people say Bill, Bill and Ted stole from this character. You ready? I'll just yeah. give it to you. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Um, Doesn't want his name changed in the... He changes. There's different characters. There's Clark been like 11 Kent. Doctor Whos. Um, and I knew that. So <laughs> he gets in a phone booth that now the phone booth could travel through space and time. They could go to any planet. When Bill and Ted came out, <laughs> they could just travel through time. They're doing another movie. You know? They're doing, yeah. yes. I am looking so forward to looking so to. Ridiculous. I'm not even kidding in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I am so forward to looking into and uh, looking for the next Bill and Ted. Because if it's done right, it's going to be right. fucking awesome. Because like I liked 40. part two. People, I don't when know. was part two when they went when to. When they go to hell and they meet the angel of death and they're playing Twister with the angel of death. <laughs> Then they meet the two aliens that they, or the, they only said, station, station. And then they <laughs> bang into each other and they become one big alien. I vaguely remember. I just remember like Medieval Times. Was that the first one? Well, the first one was medieval. like Medieval Times and, and Joan of Arc and Napoleon <laughs> and Abraham Lincoln and, and Genghis yeah. Khan. They met everyone. everyone. I think, <laughs> you know, if it's done right, a Bill and Ted 3... Because, you know, oh, yeah, they were stupid teenagers, and now they're both, like, in their 50s. Right. And but traveling. I think if it's done right, it could be very funny. And I'm also looking forward to um, Ghostbusters 3, even though, unfortunately, they said Bill Murray's not going to be in it. The rumor was they were going to put Bill Murray in it as a ghost. They were going to use CGI and make a Bill Murray ghost, which would have been fucking awesome. <laughs> but but you know what it is, is it's going to be Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill, and it's the old Ghostbusters handing it off to the next generation. Oh, okay. So they could be a whole new series of movies yeah, yeah. with of course, Seth totally. Rogen, Jonah Hill, and such. Okay, this one is kind of hard, but maybe not. Who played Lucas Lee in the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Is he the main character? No, no. Uh, Scott Pilgrim was the main character oh. in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And then... And was there was a character... Did you ever see Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? I did. It was so boring. He has to... <laughs> Scott Pilgrim has to fight Everywhere. his his this his girlfriend's seven ex boyfriends. Right, and, which one's Lucas Lee? And Lucas Lee is the guy who's an actor, who's also a skateboarder. And then when they're fighting Scott Pilgrim, it's all his stunt doubles. It's a whole bunch of guys with like black leather jackets and skateboards hitting Scott Pilgrim. Oh. Played yeah. Lucas Lee. This yeah. should come very easy is he, if you were paying attention. I, I mean, I saw it like over a year ago. Okay. Was he into, like, the power bars or whatever? Or was it somebody else? Was I, somebody, like, into... Someone? I believe he was into power bars, if like, I'm not something, mistaken. Like, into, like, protein or something. Yeah, he was, he was of all the boyfriends, he was or the most muscular. Or vegan or something. I don't remember. No, the vegan was, was Brandon Routh, who also played Superman and Superman Returns. I don't know. I can't think of... And the answer is Chris Evans! Oh, my Chris God! Chris Evans was the answer to three of the <laughs> oh questions, God. and you only got one right. <laughs> Chris Evans played... Whatever. I got three and a half points. I'm taking Three and a half points out of ten. Which, I'm for a person it. who's not a nerd, That's is damn good. a respectable... I should have guessed Chris respectable. Evans. Respectable. And I totally wrote that by myself. I was like, oh, let me just... Let me just write a nerd quiz. Chops. I can't get any of my quizzes off. And of course. The of course. Is, uh, situation. <laughs> Snooky. No, I was going to do Twilight. I keep seeing <laughs> this Twilight. Twilight. But I would... Is, is on, Big Ange from... from uh, She's from Jersey Shore. Mob Wives. She's from Mob Wives. Okay. She's from Staten Island. I, let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, she's from Mob Wives. I don't watch those shows, but every time I look Do at my TV sexy? guide, like every time I'm I'm looking at the the, the channel guide on 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 my yeah. TV, Big Edge's show is every Always fucking five on. minutes. Um, Where are my quizzes? <laughs> And so, um, while you look up a quiz, let me see what else I can... Like, they um, don't show, because it's an iPad. <laughs> and we, um, and we were discussing this before the episode. I just came back from New York City. Take a Got shot. It. Lower East Side. And, Lower East Side. you know, for those who don't live in New York, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm repeating myself, like, as much as I love New York, it has become an abomination. So Mayor Michael I Bloomberg know. is a tyrant... Right now, what they're they're they've already passed legislation for uh, stores cannot sell extra large sodas. Chris needs a soda. It's it's um well, now if it's a diet soda, you could it's sell an extra large. Yeah. So like to cut down calories, how about letting people make their own fucking decisions on how they want to live their life? Don't get me wrong, I think it's disgusting, and fountain soda is disgusting, and 
you know, all it does is make you more thirsty. You know, that's why, like right. they say, you can't drink, um, if you drink seawater, <laughs> your body will react to the salt. And since there's so much salt, your body will start flushing the fluids. You'll piss more. Then yeah, again, now you're holding more salt. You're getting dehydrated. It's a whole. I think it's the same. I think. I honestly, in my heart of hearts, feel that it's the same thing with um, fountain soda. Mm-hmm. It is so sugary. Right. That that's why you're still thirsty. And then when that sugar dries yeah, in like your mouth, you want, like you're like chug it because you're like so thirsty, and then it's like refreshing. And then but you're not. still thirsty. Yeah. yeah, you're refreshed for about three well, seconds, yeah, and then, and like, then you, need more. you know. And I mean, I hope I don't get fucking snipered by like the people who own coca-cola but you know if i disappear now you know what happened um (laughs) (laughs) coca-cola i mean they shit they own 99.9 percent of the market i mean i wouldn't be surprised if i wake up with a horse's head in my bed (laughs) um but you know it's fountain soda is disgusting but who are you to tell me what to drink now back down by my mom by my mom's house there used to be a big I don't want to say four lane road, a big a big street in general. Wide. And big wide street. What they had did was years ago they had painted the street. They had painted an island, basically you know, in the middle, saying and they made it specifically so only cars can go down that road because it was just wide enough that if trucks went down that road, it would be illegal for the trucks to go down that road. Commercial traffic, excuse me. And that would um, you know, they thought that would solve the problems of trucks going down that road, especially my neighbors were complaining because it was like five o'clock in the morning, trucks are driving through the neighborhood. And now what they've done is they, they painted the islands, you know, the little area in between mm-hmm. the roads. Now they actually have big giant planters. Right. They fill yeah. it with flowers, but and all it's like it is. It's not where one person can move it. They're it's huge. It's, it's a big, huge yeah. concrete, you know, <laughs> thing where, yes, okay, they plant flowers in it. But it's there for is that where is else. that where our tax money is going? Is that why you know I have both my uncle and a very good friend friend of mine work for the MTA, the Metropolitan Transit Authority, mm. and they are crying about how they don't have any money. You know, but oh, apparently the city has money to put these big fucking planters in the middle of the street. Planters don't belong in the middle of the street. <laughs> those things, and wouldn't that all those plants do is suck up carbon uh, monoxide, which is dangerous for them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they absorb our carbon monoxide. I, you know, where are the plant people? Like, if if you said that a dog was going to suck up carbon monoxide, there'd be people fighting. Where are our plant fighters? <laughs> people fighting for the You're rights of plants? For plants. <laughs> because for you to be a flower purposely planted in the middle of a road, you're <laughs> sucking up carbon everywhere. monoxide. That's that's plant torture. <laughs> and I just don't like these big ugly things in a road and you can't make a U-turn and, and they, they added all these extra red lights in the middle of the road for no reason. They've cut off, they've taken away every fucking parking spot. Because they think if you have a parking spot in the corner, you're just going to drive off and ram into the next person crossing the street. Mm-hmm. No, any fucking person with any kind of common sense would obviously just yeah. drive. I mean, yes, there are... Millions of people in New York City, which means there are probably hundreds and thousands of fucking idiots. But only a hundred thousand. They just, they, you know, they're purposely shutting down all these uh, parking spots, and then you know they obviously, since there's where my mother lives, it's a lot of high high rises. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's a lot of fire hydrants on every block. Now right. I'm not saying you know, fine, keep the fire hydrants, but you have to keep the 13 feet clear. Of a, a if a fire truck regulation. comes, you know, the fire truck should be able to hook up into the fire hydrant. No problem. The three or four feet or whatever. However, how wide is a car? Six feet or not even six feet. But you know what I mean? They just make it, they're making it hard and they're using it to give people fucking tickets. And, you know, they're on top of all that, then they're cutting down parking spots. And it's just, you know, and also Mayor Bloomberg, Mayor Bloomberg wants to people who smoke in their own apartment. Uh-oh, Chris they want a tax. <laughs> They want to give you like an extra right, tax want- because since buildings share ventilation systems, that now your neighbors are getting secondhand smoke. Oh, so that's the whole premise Get behind the fuck it. Out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And once again, I mean, yes, for someone I'm, I you know, I don't do drugs, I don't drink. My last vice is smoking. But who the fuck I wonder are if you? That's gonna go through. Who are who? Because I feel like that's gonna cause. Yeah, Mayor Bloomberg. But I mean, just the soda one cause. Just the issue. audacity, right? Of saying that we're gonna right, tax exactly. you. Like if now, mind you, a pack of cigarettes in fucking New York City, it was like eleven, 15 twelve bucks, dollars. Yeah. You know, it's not cheap. You know, shit. Go up to the reservations up here. You get them for three bucks. But um, right. 
I wonder if that's going to go through. Because yeah, I remember the I mean, soda just the world was a huge issue. Because Mayor Bloomberg... Now, another thing they do, and don't get me wrong, New York gets a nice chunk of change from all the tourism. It's the, In my opinion, oh. it's the center of the planet. Um, you know, he actually shuts down the streets in a program called Take Back the Streets. They just shut down the streets, and he wants this right, to become right. an everyday occurrence. Mm-hmm. I remember totally. a couple of years ago saying that, like, we were down by, like... And they down by bikers. Times Square, they've actually... Right, they they've put up a street in Times Square. Oh, uh, because we were... I'm trying to think where we... Oh, it was, like, Fifth Ave. It was, like, dead center of Manhattan is where it was. Yeah. And they shut down so much, and then it's just people biking. Like, I don't... Yeah, they put bike they paths just, everywhere. Like, what are they doing? Just hanging out, like, biking? Is there a mission? Like, were they warming up for <laughs> well, something? Well, I guess they want people to ride their bikes. But, you know, yeah, you got like, rain. You got... What about during the rains, the months of winter... Yeah, <laughs> you know, and you know, people. I'm, you know, I understand the whole. Yes, you should, you know, ride your bike to work, and I, I get that. But I'm supposed to ride my bike, work an eight hour day, breaking my fucking back, and then get on a bike and go home. Right. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, oh well, we have subways. Well, no, you don't, because the subways are always late, and they're always crying about they don't have money. So the subways and the trains and the buses aren't reliable. You know, now don't get me wrong. I know there's a lot of people. I have a friend that works on in the MTA, and she's a she's a motorman. She works, you know. And one thing they don't report: there are suicides every day in the oh, subway yeah. station. People are constantly throwing themselves in front of subways, and they just and if you would think of all the bad news they report in New York City, like that's why I don't watch the news because it's all bad news. People are constantly committing suicide, and the people are constantly throwing themselves in front of a train. And then you know the family tries to sue the city, you know, like mm. the MTA has tons, ridiculous amounts of um, lawsuits Lawsuit. against it. But, you know... But it's not their fault. I mean, if... Yeah, it's just... If they it's, were going to do it, they were going to do it some way. The litigious you know? part of the this, this society that, every you know, we everybody's looking everyone. for their day in court. Everybody's mm-hmm. looking for trying to squeeze some money out of the city. And, yeah. and it's just... You it's could sue really, anybody. It's if you win. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if it's a legitimate... If you have a legitimate argument, but I don't, it's just... I'm sure they don't win a lot with that whole suicide yeah. And then, thing. you know, the MTA... Now, don't get me wrong. I know someone who actually had a case against the MTA, and it took them nine years to get right. their fucking money. They were it's in court for a, nine years. a day thing. Because MTA is trying to... MTA tries to play a fucking waiting game. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're crippled... Let's just say you were crippled by something. What if you fucking die? Mm-hmm. What if because, because of... You know, and like I said, I mean, MTA, they're no angels either, but right. there's a lot of people out there looking for their payday by suing the MTA, and that's why they say they don't have any money. But they got money to paint bike paths. They got right. money to fucking make, put planters in the middle of the street. In the street. middle of the road. Now, you got those planters in front, let's just say, like the one in front of my mother's building. If a fire truck does come, now that whole street is blocked up because all you got room is for the fire truck and then fucking these big giant planters. Where are the traffic? Where's the traffic supposed to go? Fuck you. Don't have a fire, Chris. What, you get it's it? A, it's a don't high rise. If that, I know. If that building gets a fire. That shit happens all the time. And there's old people who live in that building. That old, you know, you get one crazy person, one pirate, yeah, one fucking kid just done. playing around with matches. Because I was a kid and I played with matches all the time in that building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was a stupid kid. I used to melt all my G.I. Joes. <laughs> my mother used to come home from work and, why the fuck is there so much smoke in the house? What the fuck are you doing in here? <laughs> but, you know, you get one kid that's doing something wrong, like, and it gets out of hand, old people are going to die. Fires happen all the time in the city. And what are you going to do? Jump out of an 18-story uh, yeah. window? See, There's yeah. nowhere to go. Yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry. I kind of just... Is there time left for a quiz? Um, We've hit the hour mark. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, have you found something? Or we can I save that for another episode. I found something. Oh, okay. I'll do a quick Jersey Shore quiz. Quick Jersey Shore quiz. Okay. We'll do a quick one. I'm going to suck on this and mm-hmm. I'll admit it. What is Snooky's real name? Snooky's real name is Nicole. Last name? I have You no have the first name. Idea. I can't believe I knew that. You got I the had first a... name. I'll give you a point. Oh, well, have Nicole. Have Nicole Polizzi. 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 What does GTL mean for Jersey Shore guys? GTL... You got this, you got this. Got the life? I don't know. I don't... GT. That's a good one, but that's not it. Jim Tan Laundry. Jim <laughs> Tan... La- oh, okay, so you... you That's what they do. That's all you, you do. Go, go to gym, gym you tan, and, and then you laundry. Because, I mean, I'm, there's there's a corn song called Got the Life. Right. Got the, the life. life. Yeah, no, so, we're not doing You know, that. and if you're living it up, you got the life. Okay. What is the name of Ronnie's signature drink? I don't even know who Ronnie is. Is that like Big Ronnie or some shit like He's that? Short muscles dates the one girl. They're always fighting. Um, dates Sammy. And they're always I don't, yelling at each other. 
I've honestly I've never seen an episode. Ronnie's drink oh, is um, Long Island iced tea. I don't know. No, <laughs> Ron Ron juice. Ron Ron juice. Come on, oh, it's Ron Ron juice. I've never seen this episode. What either. is Jay Wow's real name? Julian Jay Wow's real Jay-Wow. name, and only reason I know this is because Jay Wow was on Opie and Anthony. Her real first name is Jennifer. Mm-hmm. You don't know his name? Um, it's so Italian, you won't get it. It's Farley. Farley? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I had no idea. Oh, yeah, I'll give you another hand. Well, I know it's Jennifer, okay. and I only know that she because, on once it. again, she was on. Now, usually, guys like Opie and, Th- Opie and Anthony would goof the hell out of these girls. She, J-Wow went on Opie and Anthony, and she held, held her, her own. own. Yeah. She held her own. She's because actually, um... She's I not like from... She's, she's from Staten Island or something, right? She's no, like, she's Long not Island. from Jersey. Long she's Island. from Long Island. Yeah. And, One of them, one's from Jersey. And, <laughs> um... Opie and Anthony are from Long Island. Oh, okay. So they kind of had that she respect. came across like she wasn't taking any shit, and not in a confrontational way. Like they were no, fucking with her. her own. She's, and she was she's not that dumb. She actually seemed yeah. She seemed like yeah. she had a kind of a brain on I her think head. She has and, a degree. I'm pretty sure. And um, I, yeah, I think she was doing something in business. Because I know she's she wrote a book. Yeah, she's because she was on their show because they wrote. She wrote a book. Oh, okay. I don't and, know what her book is. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty. You know more about her. I than know because I only know because she was on Opie and Anthony. And like I said, not that they were fucking with her, but they, probably they bust they everybody's chops, and she held her own. So yeah. that's no, I how I know about Jay Wow. Who is from Johnston, Rhode Island? Johnston, Rhode Island. Well, since nobody, I want to name the one person I haven't mentioned yet. The situation. No. No. Where is the situation from? He's from New York, but I think, but not New York City or anything like that. Oh. DJ Pauly D. DJ Pauly D. I've heard so the name, but I. I, if he was DJ standing right in front of me, you know. I have no fucking idea. I don't know what this is. Okay. DJ Pauly D. Okay, which of the guy has his own tanning bed back home? I, I'm just going to recycle my answer. The situation. DJ Pauly <laughs> D. DJ Pauly D. Oh, my God. Um, oh, crap. I don't know. That That's over tanning right. lady from, <laughs> <laughs> from Jersey. From, what kind of funky phone do they have in the Jersey Shore house? Funky phone? In the Jersey Shore house, there's a, a main phone that they have to use because, you know, they can't have cell phones. Um, I mean, I don't, I mean, because I know, I, all I remember is from, like, the real world, it was called the confessional. But no. Well, they had the confessional. The funky, I mean, uh. Like the house phone. Funky phone is, what kind I don't phone know. Be? The, the duck phone. The duck phone. It was phone. a duck. Remember those old school? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's the one. I remember that from Silver Spoons. With yeah, the, that's the one that oh. they have in the house. So they have a duck. <laughs> from the guy who owns the place. That's what he has is a, a legit duck phone. Wow. What? I always wanted a duck phone when I was they a seem kid. So I wanted that one and the hamburger phone that you opened uh, it up. And it was... They also had like a lips one. Remember those? Like yeah. the clear one? Oh, the clear one that had the neon light when it yeah, yeah, yeah. glowed. Oh, so 90s. So crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted one what of those. Does Snooki... And I'm straight people. Yeah. <laughs> what does Snooky call her hairstyle? Snooky calls her because it's kind of like a beehive. Yeah. Or is it a quiff? No, it's not a quiff. A quiff. Quiff. I've heard it called a quiff when they have that little yeah. bump. Yeah. It's um. Yeah, well, you got what it is, but what's the name? Is it a quiff or is it a beehive? Neither. <laughs> it's neither. Okay. Um. It's the Snooky's cookies. I don't know. The poof. The poof. The poof. You oh, okay. The Snooky poof. All right, you might get this one since he's your favorite. Why is Mike nicknamed the situation? Because uh, he's got a situation going on over here. His something abs? like that. Like he yeah. points at his abs. Yeah. Yeah, you got a point. A point. <laughs> and you know, well, another way Snooky came into my world is that Snooky was in, um, uh, in like WrestleMania like last year or the year before that. Yeah, and yeah. And she was training with uh, Trish Stratus, who was uh, – Trish Stratus is an official um, sports model. But oh, she's right. also like she's incredibly in shape, um, and she's she's done professional wrestling. I mean, you know, they call her a diva, and she's been in. Yeah, yeah. And I think she's One done the Playboy, if I'm not mistaken. But Trish Stratus was like giving her like the basics on how to yeah, wrestle. I've heard and that. Then Snooki how was, did she do in that? Did you see? Um, she did pretty good. But then again, when you're working with the right people, I could look like a fucking right? great wrestler. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, when you um, <laughs> you know, when you're working with, that's the whole point. All the people who are big time wrestlers are good on selling. Yeah. If I could make you it. look good, that makes me better because, you know, so, you know, you, could do you give me a fucking body slam and, and like, I sell it. she was a gymnast, so I think she did, like, back handsprings or something. Yeah, she was. So they could incorporate that because she was already. Yeah, I mean. Had some flexibility. Snooki, I'll be honest with you, and I saw the I saw the match. I mean, it wasn't, it was like a match for about two minutes. Then it turned into, like, a cat fight. Right. Um, but she held her own for those two minutes for someone, you know. Because it doesn't look like she doesn't. <laughs> doesn't look like she works out all the time. I mean, no, I don't think that's happening. You know. 
Why did poor Snooky get punched in the face? Um, did well, I remember the guy was drunk. I know he was like oh. a school teacher. Mm-hmm. He hit her because she was getting loud or something like that. He just or... randomly punched her. Just randomly punched <laughs> her. Because she's fucking... Well, that was before... that was like before she was... That was like this the first episode. This was the first season, yeah. What's the name of Danny the Landlord's souvenir shop where they work? And what do they sell? <sighs> the souvenir shop. Where they work shop. like once now, a week and I mean, call it a I job. know they were... They were the last season. They went to Italy, so weren't they? I mean, would they be selling Italian souvenirs or something like that? I no, mean, I before like when they live in you know the not Italy but the other seasons when they live in that shore house. The so, landlord owns a store, and it's basically on the other side, and that's their job where they work like once a week. Uh huh. Um, it is called the Shore Store, and they sell T-shirts. Shore Store. Oh God! For guys who never wear shirts, yeah, <laughs> they're selling they're, they're selling T-shirts. Like all those Abercrombie and, and that was it. Oh, wow. So I got, what, two points? Three points? Two and a half points? One and two half points. So two points. <laughs> two points. Two half points All and right. a point. Out of how many Good questions? Job. I think we, I don't know. I think we did like 15. 15? No, oh, did okay. we do 15? So yeah, you're more of a nerd. No, we I, did like 12 because I skipped some. So you're more of a nerd because you got like three points. I'm more of a nerd you are pop culture. I'm of a pop culture uh, thing. <laughs> okay, time to pay the bills. Thank you for Hope everybody enjoyed this episode. Podcast. Please visit www.doublejackpot.us where you can get a hold of our eBay items. Um, I'll put it up real soon. I I just got back into town, um, but keep coming back. We are selling comic books. We're selling video games. We're selling heavy metal memorabilia. I got movies, horror, comedy, Everything, all types yo. of great great deals. All the money goes to support the show. Um, I'm also selling my book, Double Check. No, uh, where did my tongue stop working? That's what she said. Um, you, you could also buy my book, Double Jackpot, $15 for a hard copy, $5 for a PDF. And if you buy a PDF copy and you have a Kindle, email me, get in contact with me through, um, facebook.com slash two strangers one podcast. I can send you a copy that is available for the Kindle because unfortunately, I found out the hard way uh, the Kindle does not read PDFs, but I could keep Ooh, track of the, the, the website does let me know when someone buys a PDF copy, so I can send you a, ki- a Kindle edition, so you can listen, you could read it on your Kindle, you could read it on your Android phone, you could read it on your iPad because um, the Kindle app is supported on all those uh, devices. Um, what else? <laughs> Please visit facebook.com slash two strangers one podcast like all spelled us. out and pretty soon i'm i'm gonna get us two strangers one podcast the website I, this, this is like <laughs> it's all over oh, the place yeah. i just i'm gonna work on it but not yet we yeah, don't not visit yet, it just yet and don't buy the goddamn domain where i have to buy not it from damn it. if not i have other variations and don't buy all the variations either yeah. <laughs> you're just gonna waste money um visit us on facebook.com slash two strangers one podcast just under our cover banner, there's a like button on the lower right. Hover over the like button and show, click show and news feed. Just give a little check there. That'll give you the episodes. Unfortunately, through Facebook, for whatever reason, only one-fifth of our audience actually gets every post. And we've actually hit the 250 mark. Yes. I can't believe it. Shots. Thank you very thank much you. for everyone who's who's liked our page. And thank you for everyone who's we listening. Like I'm getting too. a little bit of feedback. And, of course, I would like a little bit more. I mean, unless you want to curse me out and say I'm not funny and you want to punch the computer, then you can keep that feedback to yourself. Um, (laughs) Like what I said to Eugene Merman. Um, (laughs) Share us with your friends on Facebook. (laughs) But the the two ways that you're guaranteed to get every episode, if you subscribe to us on iTunes, once again, just look up Two Strangers, One Podcast. If you subscribe to us on the Stitcher app, if you have an Android device, you haven't bought into the iTunes hype and you would just want to use Google devices and Android devices, the app is called Stitcher, S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R. And once again, um, like I said in the other episode, I just drove back from New York, take mm-hmm. a shot, and I was in my car for six hours driving at night. My little baby was in the back seat sleeping. You know, I listened to podcasts all the way. And I re- the Stitcher app is something that I use and I can fucking recommend. The one thing that I wish it did do and maybe I haven't figured out yet, is to queue up the next podcast as okay. soon as you're done. Well, then again, people like me aren't driving for six hours at a time. But I do use the Stitcher app, and it is fantastic. And actually, you can even find Stitcher online. Like there's, You can yeah. sign into Stitcher through your computer if you don't want to use iTunes. Maybe some people, maybe you're against Big Brother. You're against uh, Steve Wozniak watching every step. <laughs> um 
So for Android devices, um, we certainly hope you've enjoyed listening to the show and had as much fun as we had recording it. Thank you for listening to Two Strangers, One Podcast. I'm Chris. Are you done now? Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> And I'm Kristen. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> See ya. Bye. All right, here we go, man. Go ahead. You want you Double it? Jackpot. What is it? It is a self-published book by Christopher Cologne. Chris it's- Cologne? Smells good to me. But- <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. That broke that fucking cold little exterior. He's like, hee hee But it is spelled C-O-L-O-N. Him punny. But... <laughs> <laughs> Double Jackpot is a book about a comic book artist, Eric, who is in a loveless relationship with oh, a materialistic I feel you, Eric. Lynette. I know, I, I know. Oh, fucking. Are you oh, sure God. I didn't write this? <laughs> uh, I, I smell sounds hauntingly familiar. He starts cheating on his girlfriend with a more creatively, su- sorry, creatively supportive woman, Nadia. Oh, I, I gotta meet her. Where's the Nadia? There's your summer girlfriend. Summer Nadia is Nadia. Nadia? Yeah, I think Nadia spelled with an A. All right. Both Lynette and uh, Nadia play the double jackpot, the largest payout in lotto history, much like the recent Powerball. Both girls play his birth date as the winning re- as the winning numbers. Eric is now stuck between two of the country's richest women. Who will he choose? It's not that simple. This is a clever fucking idea, yeah, man. Is. Look at her, fucking. She's impressed. I am. Summer. She got some summer reading. Uh. Christopher Cologne smells real lovely with an original idea. This is. I've never heard this before. I haven't either. This is a self-published book, much in the indie spirit as Kev's Clerks. Oh, you don't even need to name check me. This is just a good idea. You could stand on your own, man. You don't even have to be like, hey, remember Clerks? This is nothing like that. (laughs) This is way more original than Clerks. This is a good idea, man. Why didn't I think it is? I need something to read. This book is part of the Comic Books Heavy Metal Video Games Trilogy Book 2, Odd I See, A Tale from the Road, coming soon. Right on, man. It's part of a trilogy. This is the first part. Way to write, man. He's seeking a literary agent. Motherfuckers, anybody out there? There ain't no literary agents listening to this show. I assure you, sure. Sure. I assure you, sure. But somebody know a literary agent? Hook a motherfucker up! Chris Cologne come up with an original idea. I should tell Raskin. That's a good fucking idea, to be honest with you. That's a fucking rom-com right there. Megan, get Raskin on the phone. (laughs) Isn't it possible to get Raskin on the phone? No? Yeah. I want to run it past him, man. I want to, and if it happens, I get a taste, Chris Cologne. I get a a whiff, if you will. The book could also be ordered on www. L-U-L-U dot com. That's Lulu dot com. I understand that. I just wanted to spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> Normally one says it, that spells it. Still, Lulu dot com. What is that? Do you know what it is? I don't know. All right. The book could also be ordered on www dot Lulu dot com. Search for Double Jackpot Christopher Cologne. A paperback version of the book is $15 and a PDF file is only five bucks. Five dollars is yeah. insanely inexpensive. Fifteen is not even that bad for a hard for a paperback version. No, this is a million dollar idea right here. Like a, a fucking a movie about a dude who fucking is stuck between two chicks, both of who play his birthday and win the lottery. Come on, come! I, like I can it. see that trailer. Chris Cologne is on to something. Nobody else can smell it but me. I'll read it. Thank you. I'm gonna make that smelly joke. I all. know you're trying to get me to laugh again. It worked once. <laughs> Double Jackpot is a self-published book by Chris Cologne, man. It's the first book in his comic books, heavy metal, video games trilogy. Book two, Odd I See, A Tale from the Road, should be coming out soon. Get all the information. Chris Cologne, like a motherfucker, and his totally book, read this. Double Jackpot. I'm serious. I'm going to recommend that to fucking Raskin. That's, how is that not a movie? You know what I'm saying? This could be a sexy movie. You could do an R-rated version. There could be nudie in it. and You could sell them fucking both chicks. Maybe a little penetration. Maybe a butthole shot. No butthole, no care. I would like to formally apologize to Christopher Cologne. Right no, now, sex but... sells. <laughs> Chris Cologne will appreciate that. He's like, thanks for throwing a few buttholes in there, man. Don't forget to check out two strangers one podcast.net, your one stop resource for everything show related. You can find links to subscribe to us on iTunes or on Stitcher. You could also find links to buy my book, Double Jackpot, on two strangers one podcast.net. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, and fuck you, I'm out.